Hey everyone, I'm Multiple456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Platinum Resident Evil 2 Remake. Alright, so we're in the police station, and we're going to do a couple of things very, very quickly. There's a first aid spray to my right, and there are some bullets just ahead of me on the table to my left. Um, and I'm going to examine the red computer at the on the table as well, so we're going to do that real quick. So I want to try and do it as fast as I can. First aid spray, some bullets, and before I examine the computer, actually I'm going to use a storage box. Uh, I'm going to drop off the key, we never have to use that again. I'm going to drop off the first aid spray, I'll keep the bullets with me. Good, let's examine the computer. This guy is letting that zombie get way too close to him. Alright, so we have our mission. So obviously the police station is very large, um, but right now all we're concerned with is going this way and finding that guy. So that's kind of like what it looks like. Pretty much everywhere else is locked. There's only like one other place we can go and that's up there. Um, but it's basically a dead end. So this is the only real way we can go. Oh, I should also uh, give a shout out and big thanks to my sister who's been helping me um, put this together for you guys. Um, we've done quite a lot of planning and everything. We haven't completely done the guide, but we've planned a lot of it. Um, and we think we've come up with a some decent um, ways to do this. So there's a room here but we can't actually get in at the moment um, and there's another one here which we can get into. Don't worry there's no danger in here. We just turn on the light. This is the press room as you can see and there are some bullets hidden underneath this body so let's collect those. If there's nothing else in here let's get out of here. So yeah we'll be going through this rather quickly. Um, I'd love to sort of like take my time and go slower but I just feel like if I can get the S rank on the first go here, uh, which is a trophy, uh, it'll make life so much easier later on. So let's go into here, this is a women's bathroom. Um, there's nothing here except for a first aid spray in this cubicle. It's just sitting up there. And just to quickly show you, this cubicle is overflowing. And yeah, the whole thing is like underwater. No reason to ever go in there again. Alright, now let's run around here. This door's locked. And, uh, that door is locked as well. Someone's yelling for us. Alright, we got another cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. Um, prepare yourself if you're squeamish. This is a pretty gruesome cutscene. This one's horrific, man. This is pretty bad. I feel like both Leon and Claire react to things very mildly. <laughs> Man, look at that. Crazy. Alright, we got the officer's notebook. Um, so you can see there, it's trying to give us some clues. There's a goddess statue that requires three medallions. If we can access that, we can get somewhere. It takes us somewhere and then we can uh, get into the parking garage and we can leave. Um, on the next page we have uh, some descriptions of um, combinations to actually access those medallions. So that's what we're going to try and do. So let's get out of here. Now there is a zombie that will come through this door, so just watch it. Shoot him in the head and you can run past him. And get around here. Now this is the tricky part. Um, I don't have many bullets to do this but I'm going to try. So I think they actually make the zombies a little bit weaker. Oh nice, I got a, good, I got a crit headshot there. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this guy on the ground is probably still alive. And we've got one more to kill. Or at least get past. Go in here, grab wooden boards. Grab the bullets as well. Shoot him again. And try and get past. Nice, we did it. Cool. Did it without even taking any damage. Brilliant. Run back. And let's get out of here. It's 
not, not a necessity to do what I just did, but it does help a little bit. Nice bloody hand to grab. <laughs> now the situation calls for it. <laughs> Does anyone know what started this? But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive. You want to you know, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now. Hey, Lieutenant, I'm ready. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a way out of the station. That officer we met earlier, he thought this secret passageway might be a trick. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just know you now. You'll need this. Can't wait. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. And you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our combat knife, and now we can actually get somewhere. Uh, equip on the inventory screen to use, uh, to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gorge is depleted. Ready it with L1 and slash with R2. Can be used to counter attack with the L1 button when you are caught by an enemy and can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Don't know if that's true, if they actually have to be defeated to retrieve it. I think there's a little bit of a discrepancy there, because there have been times where I've been able to retrieve it, and then I think the enemy's still alive, so not 100% on that one. Anyway, let's leave another first aid spray, and we'll take everything else with us. Let's go. So now that we have the combat knife, of course, we can cut this, which has been taped up. <laughs> and this will grant some access to the west side of the police station. Yeah, if he hasn't, if it hasn't become clear, this is basically Leon's first day. <laughs> so if you thought your first day was bad, you, you, you ain't got nothing on Leon here. All right, so that was the reception. We're just gonna run through here. Don't worry, there's nothing over there. This is gonna. There's a 73 bird for rescue heading east river. Touchdown an RPD in minutes. Okay. So someone's coming. All right, this is. There's no need to do this, but I'm doing it just to show off. Um, what Capcom have managed to do. And uh, I think it was them that did this. I guess it could be that simply gone engine. I should probably check that. I think this was shown off like earlier. Uh, I should have put like a grotesque warning or something like that. Um, so there's a body here. Just ignore him. We're gonna run past. And this is what we're gonna do. There's an open window here. We could board it up with the window, with the boards that we've got. But if we run all the way to the end here, there's a zombie that appears right there. Use the boards to board it up. Should get a trophy for that, actually. Run into here. PlayStation's lagging again. I bet you it'll give me that stupid fake trophy image or the placeholder. So we've got some bullets, and we can also pick up the record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary... Oh, okay. At least I got the picture. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th Addendum One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th A mob, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. 
A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. Okay, I've got to make sure that those, um, uh, I wonder if they're counting towards my time. Health and recovery items. As you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. So what am I on? Seven minutes, eight minutes, okay. Um, now we are going to, give me a moment here, going to collect the police station first floor map. So this gives us an idea of what, uh, where we've been. So we went through here. Um, we went into the press room, into the bathroom, into the watchman's room, back all this way. We This room opened, so we jumped in there, got the boards and the bullets, came back here. We can no longer go here at the moment. Uh, and then we went into the reception, around the corner, over here, into the operations room. Now, uh, this door is locked with a chain. We can only exit through this uh, room here, or through this area here. So let's jump up and do that. Okay, there's a zombie there, and we're actually going to use him for a trophy. Um, there is a trophy uh, that is that asks you to kill a zombie, or kill a zombie with, um, or finish a zombie off with a knife. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot him in the legs, and then we're going to sort of just knife him a couple times. I don't know how long it takes, but it seems pretty good. Oh wow, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Don't need no stinking gun. Awesome. Uh, let's just pause here so I can check where we're going. Okay, um, we're going to go into the safety deposit room. And we're going to turn around here and look at this note. Um, the storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else Who else would F up, F up this badly? Okay, cool. So I'm going to show you here what's going on. So we've got lockers, uh, 102, 103, 106, 109, 208, and 203. So those lockers we can open. Unfortunately, we're missing the keys 2 and 3. So the only lockers that we can open actually are 106 and 109. So this gives us access to a roll of film and also some extra bullets. So you may as well do that, grab it, roll of film. This will come in handy very soon, momentarily. And also get some bullets here. Um, you'll notice here there's a shotgun and some shotgun shells. However, we need a key card. And that we do not have. You, sir, came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him from where he came, but I didn't hear him. Okay, now, you see how there's a zombie over there near the near the window? Quickly run over here, grab these wooden boards, turn around, press X, press wooden boards, done. Turn around again, grab the green, grab the green herb, run into this room. And now we're safe, we're in a safe room. Let's turn on the light. So I've got a few things to do here. Open the lockers, we get our first, uh, well, we get some bullets, and we get our first gunpowder. So gunpowder works in a particular way, I'll explain momentarily. Let's read the medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. All right, cool. And in this room, we can also find a red herb. Looks more purple pink to me, but apparently that's red. And there's this sign here, it just says, film contains evidence, do not leave out. 
And if we go over here, we can actually develop the film for anyone under the age of probably 15. This is how it used to happen in a dark room like this. And we obtain a commemorative photo. And all it is is just showing this statue that has a scepter with a red jewel in it. And in his left hand, he has a book. So this is supposed to be sort of a clue for, for later on. But um, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, Alright, let's drop off a few things. I'm just going to drop off the green herbs, the gunpowder, and the red herb. Um, the gunpowder, what it does is you can combine them to create ammo. If you combine two standard gunpowder, which is what we've got here, we can create the handgun bullets. Um, if you combine a gunpowder with another type of gunpowder known as a high grade gunpowder, you can get different ammo. So, pretty useful there. Okay, I'm just going to pause here, 12 minutes, good. I think we have enough time for one more journey. Just give me a moment here, trying to look at the notes, seeing what we're going to take with us. So leave... Um, okay, yep, yeah, we're good, okay. So I'm going to save here for the first time. In standard mode, you're allowed to save um, at any time, as long as you find a typewriter, you can save. However, on hardcore mode, you, uh, you require ink ribbons, which uh, replace certain items in the game. Uh, for example, the item that was in here, the bullets, uh, is replaced by an ink ribbon in hardcore mode. So yeah, and I think actually the bullets on the uh, on the main desk table, uh, as soon as you enter the police station, right after that first first aid spray, uh, are also replaced by ink ribbons. So it seems to be mostly bullets. I can't say definitively definitively that it's just bullets, but it seems to be mostly bullets. Okay, now where are we going? Um, I'm gonna have to like stop somewhere afterwards. We're gonna go upstairs now. So go up here. There's some bullets right here, hidden under this body. That was weird. Didn't I have 56 and then I don't know. That was strange. There's a red herb here, but I'm actually not going to pick it up. I'm going to run in here, and I'm gonna collect. Uh, let me just see something. 1328. I'm gonna collect the portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. Damn, that counts time, all right. Uh, so this is a portable safe and when you examine it, you can examine an item from different angles by selecting it and using the examine command. You might reveal something that helps you progress. So when we examine this, we can actually play a little game. So this button, I'll call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one activates that little light there. And you can see there are sort of arrows pointing. So you need to activate it from left to right and you can start anywhere. So I'm just gonna go down here. All right, so that's that one. All right, so it looks like two, three is a, is a thing. Okay. So I can do this, oops. No, that was dumb. I can do this. Damn. Ah, threw me, threw me off my game. Yeah. Anyway. Oh no, which one is it? Now I've been thrown off my game. Hang on a sec. Ugh, oh, damn it. Hang on, let's go two, three. Where's the next one? That one. Okay, so two, three, four. Two, three, four. Five two three four. Five two three four eight. Damn. Five two. Oops. Why did that not work? Five. Whatever. Wait, what? <laughs> two three five. Oh my god, I'm getting so confused. This is like really, really difficult for me. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know how. <laughs> I, I have very, like, I have quite quite a tough time working that out. Um, anyway, we found a spare part, and the spare part is um, basically one of the keys that we were that we needed. So that's good that we got that. Um, in that locker, there's nothing. In this locker, there's shotgun shells, but I'm actually not going to pick those up. This locker, it requires code. Now, the code is the same, I think, regardless of what mode you play in. Maybe hardcore, the code is different. But if you're playing in standard, the code is always the same. I'm actually not going to use the code because I feel like it's not necessarily cheating, but I feel like 
let's do the first playthrough without knowing all the codes ahead of time. And then as we progress um, further, we'll, uh, we'll use the code on subsequent playthroughs. Um, so I think we can do things a little bit quicker. And uh, there's a jump scare here, so I'll show it. It's cool, luckily he doesn't activate. And here we can't get past because there's steam. Uh, we need some sort of valve to prevent that from burning the crap out of us. Um, let's see, so I think we'll stop here. I'm just trying to... Yeah, it looks like I might have to do one more episode to try and keep going. Um, yeah, I think we'll stop here. Um, and we'll just keep going next time. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 2 of Less Platinum Resident Evil 2 Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.